If you're wondering how the housing market in the Chicagoland area finished up the summer of 2024, well, you are in luck. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of just how the Chicagoland housing market shaped up at the end of the summer here in 2024. And I'm gonna give you some insight on the Federal Reserve's rate cuts, which I'm sure you've heard all about on the news if you pay any attention to what's going on in the real estate market. Gonna give you my take on that as well, so stay tuned. If this is your first time on the channel, my name's John Sintich. I'm your go-to for all things real estate related in the Chicago suburbs. I am a licensed realtor in the state of Illinois. So if you need any help buying or selling a home in Illinois or Indiana, give me a call. I'm happy to help. All my contact information is going to be below in the description of this video. All right, so the Fed has cut interest rates by 50 basis points. What does that mean? A lot of people think, hey, they cut rates. They cut mortgage rates. Nope, they didn't cut mortgage rates. What the Federal Reserve did was they cut the Fed funds rate, which is the rate that they charge banks to borrow money. The Federal Reserve is essentially the central banking system of the United States of America, and they set the rate at which banks borrow money from each other. So when it's more expensive for banks to borrow money, it's more expensive for you to borrow money. It's just a trickle down effect, that's how it works. And so they recently reduced the cost to borrow money between banks. That's essentially what they've done. Now the Fed funds rate is not directly tied to mortgage rates. They're indirectly related, they're not directly related. So when you cut the Fed funds rate, it doesn't just mean that mortgage rates are coming down. Typically it does, but here's a little snapshot as to why they're not directly correlated. Mortgage rates are more tied closely to the bond market. And so a month ago or so, when the Federal Reserve really hinted strongly that they were gonna cut rates, the bond market reacted to that and the mortgage rates actually came down last month. So the market already priced in that Fed rate cut was going to happen. It's very obvious that the Fed was gonna do that based on a lot of things they were saying and a lot of economic indicators. So in the future, the Fed has also indicated that they're gonna be in a cycle of cutting now. So they're likely going to continue to cut rates into 2025. And so we are more than likely going to see rates in the fives in 2025. We just don't know how low they're gonna get, but I'd bet a lot of money on rates being in the fives, maybe between five and a half and six, or if we get lucky, they might be between five and five and a half. I highly doubt we're gonna see 4% rates. We don't have a strong indication that rates will be in the fours, and 3% rates, you could probably kiss those goodbye forever. That was an anomaly. We're not gonna see that again, unless something insane happens and you know who knows, but more than likely we're gonna see rates in the five next year. Now, a quick update on the available inventory of homes for sale in the Chicago land area. At the end of August of 2024, there were 12,727 homes available for sale, which is actually a slight decrease from the same time last year in August of 2023, when we had just over 13,000 homes available for sale. So just a slight decrease in inventory, but we're basically staying the same as we were last year in August. And typically we see less homes listed at this time of the year um, than we do during the summer. It's just a less busy time in real estate in the Midwest when it comes to residential real estate. The median sales price for a townhome or a condo in the Chicagoland area has gone up about four and a half percent from the same time last year. And the median single family home price, so just a regular detached single family home, has actually increased by 6.7% since August of 2023. So we're still seeing home values go up and a median priced condo at the end of August was 290,000. A median priced single family detached home was about $400,000. That's it for today's market update. I hope you got some value from it. You got some education from it. If you did, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel. More importantly, if you do need to buy or sell real estate in the state of Illinois or Indiana, I would love to hear from you. My team and I would be honored to help you. Just reach out to me. My contact information is gonna be down below in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day.